morning everyone. It has uh, been difficult to film for this trip. So I decided to come up to the Port Lincoln National Park for the night and just do a little bit of a tour around today just to show you some of the uh, sights. And uh, yeah, the scenery here is beautiful. Um, just gonna check out here, I'm at Surfleet Cove. So I'm gonna have a look at a board and uh, we'll see what it says. So on here, Surfleet, there's hiking trails here. Hour and 30 minute loop, 4.8 Ks. Scenic walk. Then there's the Investigator Trail, which is four hours 30 one way. And a few Stanford loop hikes and stuff like that. Now, I would like to go out to here, but I'm not walking that way. Um, well, actually, I can get out there. Yeah, it's vehicle access. I'm gonna check out the Cape Donington Lighthouse at some point, but today. Um, yeah, I'm down here at the moment. I'm just gonna head down to the, uh, the beach and uh, see what it's like. So, that's part of the investigator trail, so all the investigator straight and all that stuff. So, if you're interested, uh, Matthew Flinders circumnavigated the continent in a leaky and rotting vessel named Investigator. So, he discovered this place. Um, yeah, let's go down here, check out the beach. Oh, look at that, someone's anchored offshore. That's nice. Not a bad place to wake up to at all. Surf Fleet Cove. I can't really do much surfing, but yeah, the, uh, the boat is out here. As you can probably see. Very rocky. Not a whole lot happening down here. Yeah, quite nice though. All right, I reckon we'll head back to the car and we'll go check out that lighthouse because I reckon that'll be pretty cool to check out. And I believe that is the furthest most point of South Australia as well. All right, so it's like a gravel track up to the uh, lighthouse. Oh shit, there's an emu. Uh, and another one. Come on, buddy. Just run out from the scrub. Got to really be careful out here. I've seen heaps of them. I reckon I've seen almost 10 emus right now. Um, but yeah, this is just a dirt road uh, up to Cape Donington Lighthouse. Uh, all the campsites down here are four-wheel drive access only. Um, it's pretty corrugated as well, as you can probably hear. Um, but yeah, we'll keep going. And uh, we'll, uh, yeah, it should be interesting. I'm hoping once we get there, uh, being that it's right out on the, on the Cape. up here and check out this lighthouse. I don't know if we can go in it. I don't think so. But we'll check out the lighthouse. So she's a fair way up there. I don't know if there's any boards or details here on it. But also know it's Cape Donington Lighthouse. She is locked up. So obviously it must still be functional, which is fine. Kinda need that out here. And uh, I'll grab my keys out of the cruiser and go for a bit of a walk, I reckon. Uh, down the end of the road here, it's not all that far. I really should have my uh, hiking shoes on, but nope. I've got the old pluggers, as we like to call them. Quite a beautiful national park, I must say. Uh, I definitely want to come back and spend more than a night. Um, I am booked in at a tourist park so I can grab a shower and refill the water and do all that fun stuff. But that's where I am at the moment. So looks like you get down the beach. There's a vehicle down there. And this is like a bottom car park. Mm. 
maybe. Oh. Yep. Certainly is a bottom car park. And no one here. So this is part of a walking trail as well. The investigator trail. 6.2k loop. Take you out to September Beach. Just going to stick our nose over the edge of the railing here. If it's windy, I apologise. Um, but yeah, here's what it is. I'm at the beach. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm not going down there because I don't have my shoes on, but yeah, it's nice. Nice rocky outcrop. Little island of some description out here. And I'll show you on the other side uh, something in a minute as well. So, yeah, it's nice. 22 degrees today. And uh, my arm is not going to toast me for once. So, over this side, I don't know if you can see him out here, but out here, they are tuna farms because Port Lincoln is known for its tuna farming. And uh, yeah, it's all done offshore, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's about it for now, so. Oh, I'll get back, get back up to the car here and uh, we'll cruise on. I'll head over to September Beach, check that out. Um, that was just down the road, not too far away. And uh, then we'll see what else this place brings us, because I don't know. September Beach, let's go check it out. Pretty nice. People swimming and stuff down here. Probably cold for that. Probably won't go down onto the beach. We'll have a look. So over the distance there is the lighthouse. Yeah, this is the beach. And it was pretty good. What a nice place to swim at. Great in summer when it's nice and hot. Yeah, there's like a bunch of tidal pools and stuff over here. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, let's keep moving on and uh, we'll go check out some more places. updated the footwear. I put my runners on as I saw a snake when I just left the last place. So my car case rock is a viewing point 100 meters uh, that way. So we're gonna go and check it out. And uh, I'll put the hiking shoes on. So let's get going. Let's have a look and see what's down here. Not the one person. It's pretty rough to get in as well. Um, 
Oh wow, the beach is beautiful. Let's go have a quick peek at the beach before we peek at this viewing platform. I wouldn't drive down here. Of course. Yeah, what a beach. She's windy. That's nice. Beauty. How's that for a view? Hell yeah. Loving it out here. Definitely coming back, that's for sure. Do a proper, uh, proper video, I reckon. So, you can drive down here, but I opted to leave the cruiser back there. Just because I need to get out and do some walking instead of driving everywhere. Yeah, it's good to have some exercise. When you're out bush, not just sitting around drinking and eating. Oh, we're gonna aim you here. Hey, buddy. We're gonna hurt you. You gonna let me pass? There's an enemy just here. Can I pass? Any young young bird? Yeah, we good. Can I go this way? Am I gonna kick my ass? <laughs> I love how they run. Classic. Oh, good bud. He was uh, more scared of me than I was of it, which is pretty funny. So I'm assuming this is the viewing rock. There's like a car case rock out there. Let's have a look down here. Now they got my proper shoes on. I can uh, have a good look. We got little tidal pools and stuff down here. So there's no big swell, so I'm not in any risk here. We'll have a look, see what we find in these pools. There's a few fish and stuff in here. Saw one just swimming under the rock. Yeah, there we are. Well, bait fish just here. Oh wow, there's a mud skipper or something just here. And if you ever see him in the water there, there's a couple of them. Very cool. Always interesting to see what gets trapped into these uh these tidal pools. He's still down here. No, oh, I'm a hey buddy. It's okay. Hey bud.
take our time with him. I'll go over here. Whoa, come on, man. I almost felt like you charged me. That's not cool. Just trying to get past. <laughs> oh, you're cheeky, aren't you? All right, I think you'll leave me alone now. It's gone off into the scrub. So I've just hit one on lookout and boy oh boy is the scenery amazing here. This is wild. I've taken the hat off because it's a bit windy. Well I've got to show you this. So you're not going to go too close to the cliff edges. But wow. Is that amazing? She's a bit windy but as close as I'm going to go. Look at that. Beautiful. Would never have thought this existed here. How good is that, guys? It's freaking amazing. Haven't seen that in a long time, so. All right. I'm going to head out of the uh, National Park now. I've done what I needed to do today. I've done my exploring. So I've been out exploring for four hours. And uh, yeah, it's time to head in and check in somewhere and actually grab a shower. And uh, go get some lunch, I reckon. So easy, guys. I'll let you know when I'm back on the road. All right, guys, I'm heading home now. Uh, yeah, it was an awesome trip. Did most things I could in the National Park. And uh, yeah, I'd definitely like to get back and check out some more of the campsites. Um, plenty of venues, a couple of snakes. Uh, yeah, not too bad. So, cruiser's done well. She's uh, kicking along, besides a little bit of uh, cosmetic damage. Uh, so, yeah, obviously we've, you know, lost the chrome molding here. And I'm probably gonna get rid of that tape now. As nice as it is, um, I think it's causing problems. Um, obviously, done the step, which I think I showed you. And then, yeah, there was the uh, um, gas strut in the back that the bracket decided to bend. But anyway, guys, have a good one. Catch you in the next video and catch you on some live stream shortly.